my name Mo. Hey, and today, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be talking to you lovely people about 10 things that I hate about bus travel. Now, the only reason why I'm talking about this now is because I literally just came back from college and I had the most stressful bus journey ever. I don't know what it is about public transport when it comes to buses, especially buses. Trains I don't have much of an issue, except I'm just not too confident with them. It's the buses because I take it every single day. But every single day there's something different. There's always another problem. There's always a new one. Just get someone else, mate. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that I hate is when, you know you get on the bus, loads of people just standing there, just holding the poles, they're just staring at you like, oh, who's this geezer? And I'm just standing there thinking, what, what if there's space upstairs? Or has anybody checked? I don't know. So I thought, you know, let me just go check upstairs. So I just casually, you know, just poked my head over just to see how much space was there. Guys. No! <laughs> was I not just stressing? I wanted to go down to the people and say, there's more space guys if you want to check. No, I let them suffer. I let them waste their energy by standing because them fools, they weren't thinking, they weren't using their brains. <laughs> They're just standing there like... Mm -hmm. Number two. Now you know when you're on a bus and there's usually kids. Everybody loves kids, you know, kids are great. Kids are wonderful. Times. You know, you've got to be in a certain mood for stupidness of kids. You know when kids are in that booky mood where you don't want to, you don't really want to be troubled like that. I really hate it when you give kids too much control on a bus. I mean, it's like, seriously, where's your parents? Where are your parents? Or where they at, though? Sometimes the parents could be just sitting right next to them. But the little kids, they're going, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pressing the button, literally spamming the button. Spamming the button. Are you coming off or are you staying on? Because you can come off. Everybody will be happy if you go. Even if your mom stays on, you can go. It gets so annoying because all you hear is ding, 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 ding. So the bus driver obviously doing what he does is his job to pull over and let people on and let people off. Thinking, oh, wow, loads of people probably want to come off. Oh, let me just drive over to the side to the next bus stop. Nobody comes off the bus. Guy's probably getting frustrated. I'm surprised he didn't talk in his little microphone and say, excuse me, madam, could you please tell your son? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing in that accent? Excuse me, madam, can you please tell your son to stop pressing the button? Otherwise, he is getting off the bus, and if you want to go with him, you can go with him. Otherwise... Number three. So again, with the packed buses, you know when you're standing there and you're just holding a pole, and then somebody else comes on the bus, and you're not really taking much notice of them, but you two happen to just... Touch hands. It's like one of you have to go down, one of you have to go up. It's like you don't want to give eye contact to see who you actually touched. I've done that many times. Like I've literally just gone on, and some guys they're standing there just coughing on his other hand, and I accidentally go and touch his hand, and we both just scatter. Just scatter. Just, just go and touch. Just scatter. It's one of the most awkward, most bookiest things ever. It's like that's that's just, that's just stage one of the touching. Don't worry. Later on, it gets worse. It, it, it gets worse. Number four. Do you know how deep it is when you know you see maybe a woman for with a um what's that thing you push the kid with um oh yeah your hand no I'm joking <laughs> the buggy the buggy do you see a woman running oh, that's so bad you see a woman running with her buggy and the little kid maybe holding her hand as well and they run and say excuse me please word word the bus is literally pulling over lets the people off and just as they get to the door the bus drives off and leaves them do you know how deep it is you know how sorry I feel for them it is so deep especially when they've been running for like I say they've been running like a good hundred yards or so just to go catch this bus which they probably need because the kid looked like was on his way to school. I, I know I'm smiling, but it's so funny. It's not funny, it's not funny. Just stop laughing. Naughty. It's like the bus driver looked at them and just went, Yish, you can be late for school. None of my business. Number five. Usually when I'm on my way home from college, the bus that I take um, is, is a double decker. So sometimes I go on the upper deck, you know, because it's, it's fun. Usually see some of the high school kids there just laying there, the boys like, yeah. And then when I, oh, when I beat you football today, no, bruv, you didn't beat me. Yes, bruv, I beat you. Are you? Dumb! Hey, shut up, bruh! And literally, the seat that you need is the seat that they've got their bag or their leg on. And it's like, hold up, hold up, listen, move your leg, come on. Like, other people need to sit down, obviously, you know, like, but why have you got your long leg there sitting on the chair like you own it? Move your leg, fam. People have to put their bum bum on the chair. What's your foot doing there? Bars for days. So you have to be logical. Can you just go up to them and you say, excuse me, could you move your leg? And they give you like an attitude. They give you attitude. Because they're not your children. Because they're not your friends. Because you don't know them. You can't dump them down right there, right then. So obviously you've got to be like, <laughs> okay, okay. If I see one that has a space next to it and nothing there, I usually just bypass it. If I see one with a bag, I'm thinking, oh, you think you run this bus, yeah? You think you run, who do you think you are? Is your name Kingpin? No, move your bag. So obviously I'd go over to them and I'd just look at them.
then after the moments of just waiting, they actually <laughs> end up just moving their bag. Gotta show people their place. You don't run the bus, so don't try it. Number six, probably my most hated thing on buses because it's so unhygienic, disgusting, it's just horrible. I hate it. So you could be sitting on the bus, just, you know, just focusing, thinking about your journey, thinking about what your destination, thinking about where you're going, and you're just sitting there all innocently, maybe listening to music or something, and then next thing you know, you hear somebody behind you going, <coughs> And they're coughing on the back of your head. Like, uh, bro. Uh, uh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Pardon me. And you're thinking, that's gross, man. That's disgusting. Like, why? C cover your mouth. Weren't you raised with manners? Were you raised in a barn? What are you doing? Uh, it's just so disgusting. Worst one is, sorry, because it's going to get a bit gruesome. When they're coughing, 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 but you could feel the cough on your head. <laughs> So they could be coughing on your head, coughing, but you could feel the wetness and the condensation from the actual breath. And sometimes their breath is kicking like garlic chicken bars for days. Like, it's just, oh. Don't cough on my head. Number seven. It's, it's, like, it's like the same thing happens every morning. I'll wait outside the MS petrol station to go catch my 140. I get on the 140 with the same kid who plays the same songs on loudspeaker every day. But it's like, I don't like it when people Go on the bus and you've got to listen to their music because they're playing on loudspeaker. Listen, that's what headphones were made for. Put it over your ears and you listen to your tunes. I don't want to hear your songs. Oh. Number eight. When somebody presses the button, I don't know if they're pressing it just because they think they're funny, if they're bored, or if they're actually going to come off the bus and they change their mind last minute or something, I don't know. But they press the button and then they just sit there and act like nothing happened. You could be sitting across them just looking at them like... He's not making any sudden movements to move. Could be she, could be she as well. If you're gonna come off the bus, then come off the bus. That's why you press the button, because you want to come off. You don't press the button because you're bored and you're like, oh, my thumb's gonna stick. Let me just bing out this, bro. Yeah. And it's annoying because then they're, they're just still sitting there and you know what they've done. Some people may not have even seen what they did. You could have been the only one that saw it and you gotta sit there and just stare at them. Well, you don't have to, but <laughs> I do. Listen, you're just wasting everybody's time. You're pressing the button, you're not moving. Number nine. Yeah. So it comes to your bus stop and you gotta press the button, but you're sitting next to somebody and you're thinking, okay, let me let me just and you gotta indicate, you gotta do the sort of head shake sort of thing to indicate that you're getting off the bus, you know. I, I'm sure you guys do it too sometimes, sometimes. And they go Well some would be nice enough to actually stand. This is usually when you're sitting upstairs but at the back. So you gotta work your way from the back all the way to the front. So you're literally weaving in and out of people. But some people are there sticking their leg out, literally just like this. And you gotta go step over their legs because sometimes they're asleep. Some sometimes people just be there leaning like this and you want them to move. So you gotta go and you tap them and say, excuse me, excuse me. The chair is designed to sit straight. Why are you sitting like that? Like that. Like whoops, whoops. If you sit normally then we won't have that problem. That problem! And finally, number 10. I hate it with a passion. When you're sitting there just casually, just looking out the window, just, you know, in such a good mood. And obviously people come onto the bus, so if somebody's decided to come sit next to you. But instead of sitting next to me, they decide to sit on me. Literally, they're sitting on my leg. Move your body! Like, listen, there's enough space for you. I'm there in within my width of my seat, so why are you, why are you troubling me for? <sighs> It actually happened quite recently. It's just some tall, lanky guy, some tall guy with some long legs. Literally, he, he might as well have just been sitting on my laps. So I'm literally just sitting there, just looking out the window. And he, he just comes over. He's literally just got his legs right up, up to my legs. Do you know how booky that feels? It doesn't end there. It doesn't even end there. That's the worst thing. So I'm there thinking, I'm not going to think much of this. It's going to be a short journey, nice quick journey. I've only got 20 minutes on here, so it's cool. But he does this thing. He did this thing where he just shakes his leg. But he could do it so that his legs are shaking and his whole body isn't. Obviously, I can't. He's just there shaking, shaking, shaking. Obviously because his legs dead right up onto mine, he's shaking me. So I'm there just going. So I look at him. He's not looking at me, he's looking away. I don't know if you can feel me looking at him or something because then he stops, he starts to just stop and look away. Not long after looking away. 
I mean, it's bad enough that we're touching the legs, let alone you shaking your legs like Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you show your appreciation in the likes and the comments below. That's all for me. Thank you again for watching. As I stressed in the last video, if you haven't seen Daddy's Tips on Girls episode 2, then please do make sure you click this over here. Make sure you do leave a like, because if you get to 30 likes, then we'll be able to release episode 3. So yes, thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and bless that.